Hello and welcome to this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. I'm Dr. Robin Silverman, Child and Teen Development Specialist and the creator of the Powerful Words Character System. Today's question doesn't come from any one person in particular. Several people lately have asked me how to encourage their children to be more accepting of other people. Now, no doubt that this is sometimes challenging when media often depicts groups of people as stereotypes rather than as indi individuals. This leads people to judge a whole group by how they are depicted on TV and therefore may lead to rejection of the truth even if it's right in front of their eyes. Perhaps we need to teach our children to embrace the old adage Believe nothing of what you hear and only half of what you see. So how do we encourage our children to be the kind of people who are accepting of others who are different from ourselves? First, look within yourself. Take a close look at your own attitudes, your feelings about other people who are different from you. You are the biggest influence in your child's life. So if you're not accepting of other people, they're not going to be. Children pick up on the most subtle differences. You understand that, right? So we don't want to degrade anybody. We don't want to degrade people about how they think or act, even if we're only joking. Discuss tolerance. Talk about being open-minded, accepting of other people's differences. Use powerful words as a launching tool to talk about acceptance in an accessible manner. Explain to your children how misleading negative stereotypes can be. Watch what they're watching, read what they're reading. This way you can stay informed about what messages they are probably getting from the media and if necessary, dispel them. Next, expose your child to diversity. Ensure that what you watch on TV, what you read in books, or what you expose your family to in real life demonstrates diversity in a positive way. People of different races, ethnicities, boys, girls, people of different sizes, shapes, people doing ordinary things, extraordinary things. Diversity doesn't only help our children accept other people, it helps them to understand and appreciate the differences within themselves. Practice the golden rule of this is of respect and of, of empathy. We want people to, our children to walk in other people's shoes. Right? What would it be like to wear a hearing aid, be in a wheelchair? What would it be like to feel different from most other people that they see? And what would it be like to be teased for being different? Remind your child to treat others the way they want to be treated. Next, encourage friendships with children who have diversity, who are different from your children. Ask yourself if the activities they're involved with provide that diversity. If not, and if your area doesn't provide it, seek other areas, maybe a, a after-school program or time on the weekends or time on vacation that can provide that for you. Next, promote concerns and questions out in the open. If children have concerns about certain attitudes towards others, talk about them. Try to understand them. Why do they feel a certain way? Discuss stereotypes and why it's okay for people to be different from one another, why it's not okay to jump to conclusions about other people simply from looking at them. Next, spend time recording and discussing your own ancestry. Perhaps your ancestors were victims of discrimination. Help your children to embrace their own attributes, their lineage, their cultural background, and their related traditions so they have a greater sense of who they are and therefore probably have a greater sense of how they can appreciate others. It's important to remember that we all hand down legacies. We have to decide what we want ours to be. No doubt you want your children to learn acceptance, to be open-minded. Diversity training is an ongoing process. So let's begin today. Our children are listening. That's all for this edition of Ask Dr. Robin. Please continue to send in your questions and they may be featured next time on Ask Dr. Robin. In the meantime, I hope you make it a very powerful month. Goodbye, everyone.